design activity, you can try and actually use these ideas. So you're going to need um, a pencil and a paper, some scratch paper. So get that handy. And I'm going to show you some slides. So I'm going to have to um, go ahead and share my screen with you all. So I'm going to get small, but my slides will get bigger. And I think you'll all still be visible so we can all still talk with each other. Uh, this is one that one of my um, PhD students, Stephanie Ballard, and some others came up with. So I'll read this out loud to you. Um, the name of this technology is Sleeve. Sleeve is a hypothetical embodied technology which uses a brain-computer interface to detect the wearer's affective states. So what all of that means is Sleeve is this imagined technology it's connected here at the base of my uh, spine, so it's a brain-computer interface. And what it will do is detect my emotions. So affective state means emotions. And then it's going to display those emotions through an e-textile garment. So imagine I'm wearing this really nice, you know, jacket, and that's um, my sleeve. It's connected to my brain. And then the fabric in my jacket can change colors, textures, and shape according to the feelings of the wearer. So depending upon how I'm feeling, uh, my jacket's gonna change, right? Um, sleeves can be worn by people, such as those with autism, to help make their emotions more accessible to the people around them. Okay. Seems really cool. <laughs> I think so too. I'll tell Stephanie you said so. Okay, so if we all understand that, we're gonna do our design work with sleeve. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is use, um, we're going to be using a toolkit called the envisioning card. And these help us to think outside the box, you know. So this is a stakeholder card. You can see that it says stakeholders. And this one is called changing hands. And so the idea is to, um, that this single product can change hands once or twice or more times during its life cycle. That means we can give it away. We can give it to someone else to use. So now we want to think about how use of this system can change as the technology changes hands. So what I want you to do is think about this idea, right? We're going to go back to sleeve. And I'm going to ask you to think about what happens if sleeve changes hands. I'm going to flip over the timer so you have some time. And write down or just think about, whoa, if we had sleeve and um, it was changing hands, what what would we have to think about? Like as the designers of sleeve, what are the things that could happen? What do we need to plan for? Any questions? Okay, then go for it. Just go ahead and think and I'll check in with you in a couple of minutes. So what's one thing that, one interesting thing that you came up with when you were thinking about sleeve changing hands? If it was owned by somebody and they, they actually used it, it would be worn. So it would have to be like, and especially like if it changes color and texture and, and, and like even shape, then that means it'll, it would have to be like very like robust and um, good enough to stand a lot of years. So like in your u universe, there would have to be sort of um, sleeve hair kits or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Does it kind of like get used to one person after a while? Yeah, I think so. It sure does. Yeah, so what do you think about that? I think then it would be like a little hard to like wear and like have it actually work for a little while because like it's already used to another person. So mm -hmm. then the like stats of it and everything would be different. It would be fun if it's like a pet or something that you have to like and like how you have to help it like adapt to your you and your environment and your feelings. What if the signals that my brain sends when I'm a little upset are really similar to what someone else sends um, when they're feeling afraid? It would be kind of hard for the sleeves to get used to the other person's settings on it because it has been used to the other person's settings for a long time. Yeah, sounds like in your design, there's also settings. So then maybe there's something that a wearer starts or sets, or maybe 
it needs a reset button. What do you think of that idea? Another thing I worried about with this is, well, what if, what if I'm the person who had it first and then all the data it has about me goes to this next person? Yeah. Well, do you guys want to try one more card um, with sleeve? Yeah. Okay, great. Here's the next one. This is what we were talking about with widespread use. What happens if lots of people start using it? So here it says a person's use of a technology can be impacted by how, when, and where other people are using it. So it's not just me wearing sleeve, but let's say everybody's wearing sleeve. How might interactions change as use of the system spreads to thousands or even millions of people? So that's what I want you to think about now. Does everybody got that? It's not just me wearing sleeve, but everybody in your neighborhood has one, all your family members, everybody you know has a sleeve. Then what happens? So let's go back over here and we can see sleeve again so we can remember what it's like. Now take a few minutes. I'm going to flip over our timer again. There it is. And go ahead and think about what would happen if lots of people were wearing sleeve. All right. So, um, so yeah. So what happens if everybody's wearing a sleeve? So if everyone had it, they would kind of want to make it kind of better and like maybe they would like kind of compare it with other things. So people would end up having a lot of sleeves, right? And maybe they would like kind of get bored of like the first one for some reason, <laughs> so they would get like making the other one. If everybody had one, then it would be really easy to like tell what they're feeling. Everybody would be like a little more exposed and they would usually be like without a sleeve. Yeah, and how do you think people would feel like if they just could look around and see what everybody's emotions were? And everybody could just look at them and know what they were feeling. It, it would like eliminate all senses of privacy, I guess. Have you ever had any times where you felt something, but you didn't want to share that emotion or you thought you just kind of kept your mouth quiet because, yeah, you didn't want people to know what you were actually feeling? I feel like if I'm feeling bored, you <laughs> <laughs> would know. And then, I mean, but then I guess it would actually improve because it can like kind of like say things that you wouldn't normally say. Like, mm -hmm. I, w I wouldn't say, like, I'm bored. This is, like, boring. I don't like this. Well, great. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Now we're kind of all back together. And I just want to show you, like, these cards, they're, like, real cards. And, you know, they have this on the back, and they have pictures on the front. And they are all kinds of different topics that you can use when you're designing um, your technology and they help you think about these things so that, you know, they're not things you discover after you've deployed your technology, but really when you're sitting there designing it and thinking about, well, how might this really work? So that's one kind of tool that you can add to your design toolkit. Those are called envisioning cards. Thanks Bye. for sharing your ideas. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you.